Lego Minecraft is one of my favorite themes ever done by Lego. I made a video about a year ago where I talked about why I love the theme so much, as well as going over some techniques on how to make the sets more accurate. So give that a watch if you want, but today we'll be doing the opposite, as I'll be trying to plan and build a custom Lego Minecraft set in Lego style. I've chosen to go for a $10 set for a few reasons. Firstly, the Lego Minecraft team does one every year, so there's a good chance they're going to keep making $10 sets at least once a year. A $10 set is smaller, so for simplicity's sake and for me to be able to more accurately mimic Lego style, it'll be easier with a smaller model. $10 sets are my favorite of the Minecraft line. I think they perfectly encapsulate the magic of the Lego Minecraft theme since they're jam-packed with awesome features for a very low price. Now that we've set our price point, we need to go through a quick history lesson of previous $10 Minecraft sets to know what we're up against. The first of these is set 21162, the Taiga Adventure. It released on January 1st, 2020 and it retailed for 999 USD or 999 euros. It has 74 pieces and depicts the Taiga bio after its revamping in the 1.14 update. The character minifig of the set is Steve, who comes with a gold sword and gold leggings. This set was also the first time we got the fox in LEGO, which was released in-game in April of 2019. In terms of hostile mobs, we get a skeleton, and for the fourth mob, we get a wolf. The features in this set are some sweet berries, a TNT block, a mushroom, and a fire block. This set has a play feature, which takes the form of a few blocks exploding thanks to the TNT. Next up is set 21164, the Coral Reef. This one holds a special place in my heart since it was the first of these $10 sets I got my hands on. It released on January 1st, 2021, and it also retailed for 999 USD or 999 euros. It has 92 pieces and depicts a coral reef in a warm ocean biome. The character minifig of the set is Alex with a gold sword, a turtle helmet, and enchanted leggings. This set was the first time we got Pufferfish in Lego, although it was not new to the game. In terms of hostile mobs, we get a drowned, and for a fourth mob, we get a second pufferfish, this time a baby. The features in this set are some coral structures, a chest with a nautilus shell, a tropical fish, and a heart of the sea inside, some sea pickles, and some kelp. This set also has a play feature, this time being the ability for the chest to slide out from underneath the coral. Another cool thing about this set is that you can make a second baby pufferfish with the extra pieces in this set, plus a Travis brick. Also, Peter's Pieces, Tallest Grain, and I teamed up to build wacky things using the Lego Minecraft pufferfish, and I want to do it again with mobs like the axolotl and the frog, so comment some ideas down below. Number three is set 21177, the Creeper Ambush. This set released on January 1st, 2022, and it retailed for 999 US dollars or 999 euros. It has 72 pieces and is set in the flames biome near what looks like a river or a lake. The character minifig in this set is Steve, comes with a stone sword and a spyglass. This set's hostile mob is an exploding creeper, which is the same old creeper mold recolored in red and yellow. It was a weird choice from the set designers considering that a creeper about to explode turns white, not red and yellow, but it's a cool variant nonetheless. We also got a baby pig and a baby chicken. Features of the set include a crafting table, some sugar cane, a block of iron ore, and a poppy. This set also has a play feature, which is once again the ability to explode a few blocks thanks to the creeper. Next up is set 21240, The Swamp Adventure. This set released on January 1st, 2023, and it retailed for 999 USD or 999 euros. It has 65 pieces and depicts a swamp. The character minifig in this set is Alex, who comes with an iron axe. This set was the first time we got the frog in Lego, which was released in game in June of 2022. More specifically, this is the dark orange temperate frog, which is found in regular swamps. The white warm frog, which is only found in mangrove swamps, was first seen in set 21248, the pumpkin house, which was a part of Lego Minecraft's 2023 summer wave. January 2024 set 21256, the frog house, will be the first time we get the green cold frog, which is only found in cold biomes. The set's hostile mob is a zombie, and the fourth mob is a baby slime. The features in the set are a crafting table, a TNT block, a lily pad, a slime ball, a blue orchid, and a swamp oak tree. Once again, this set also has a play feature, which again takes the form of a few blocks exploding thanks to the TNT. Lastly is set 21251, Steve's Desert Expedition. This set will release on January 1st, 2024, and it'll retail for 1099 USD or 999 euros. Unfortunately, not even $10 Minecraft sets were strong enough to resist LEGO's recent price increases. Thankfully, the price in euros remains under 10, so this set falls under the category. This set has 75 pieces and is set in the desert. The character minifig in the set is Steve, who comes with an enchanted axe and also has a new face print with camel spit on it, which is just an awesome feature. This set will be the first time we get the camel in LEGO, but in baby form, which released in game in June of 2023. The hostile mob of this set is a phantom, which is always cool to get. The features in this set are a crafting table, a water source, a campfire, a cactus, which has a new design, a dead bush, and a tent-like structure made with wool blocks and fences. This set is the first to not have a play feature. Now that we've gone over every $10 Minecraft set thus far, we can create a checklist for what our custom set needs to have, and then rank every existing one against ours. Number one, the set has to release on January 1st every year. Number two, the set retails for 999 USD or 999 euros. Number three, the set has to have between 60 and 100 pieces. Number four, the set has to be in a biome not done by previous $10 sets. Number five, the set needs a character minifig that can either be Steve or Alex. Number six, the set needs to introduce a mob not made in Lego before that is also new to the game. Number seven, 
The set needs to have a hostile mob. Number eight, the set needs to have a fourth mob. Number nine, the set needs a play feature. Number 10, the set needs features, for example, a crafting table. After some time spent coming up with an idea for the set, designing it digitally, ordering pieces from Bricklink, and then building it physically, Here's my pitch for the next $10 LEGO Minecraft set. But before we rank my custom set, let's rank the previous ones. 2020's The Taiga Adventure gets a 10 out of 10, checking off every item on the checklist. Next, 2021's The Coral Reef gets a 9.5 out of 10, losing half a point because the pufferfish was not new to the game when the set was made, but it was its first LEGO Red Edition. Next, 2022's The Creeper Ambush gets a 9.25 out of 10, losing three quarters of a point because the creeper was not new to the game when the set was made, nor was it its first LEGO iteration. It still gets a quarter of a point though, since it's a recolor for the creeper. Next, 2023's The Swamp Adventure gets a 10 out of 10, also checking off every item on the checklist. Lastly, 2024's Steve's Desert Expedition gets a 7.5 out of 10, since the set doesn't include a fourth mod or a play feature. It also loses another half point since it'll retail for 10.99 USD, but gets half because it's still 9.99 euros. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. I present to you set 21260, The Savannah Quest. set would release on January 1st, 2025, retailing for 9.99 USD or 9.99 euros. It has 89 pieces and depicts the savannah bio. The character minifig in the set is Alex, who comes with a crossbow, an enchanted helmet, and a torch. This set would be the first time we get the armadillo in LEGO, which is set to release in-game in June of 2024. Shout out to Cheesy Studios for the great armadillo design, but for a real set, LEGO would probably make a new mold, as they've done for other mobs. The hostile mob of the set is a skeleton, who comes with a bow, and the fourth mob is a baby pig. The features in the set are a crafting table, a dead bush, a TNT block, and an acacia tree. This custom set has a play feature which takes the form of, you guessed it, a few blocks exploding thanks to the TNT. Here's a look at the digital version of the set, which is more accurate to how LEGO would make it, but unfortunately some of the pieces used don't exist in certain colors, and others I outright don't own, so the physical version I built looks a little rougher. Thankfully this custom set ticks all the boxes of the $10 LEGO Minecraft set checklist since the last one really dropped the bar, which makes this one the perfect candidate to be the 2025 $10 set of the wave, so please subscribe so LEGO sees this.